All right, it's Monday morning, and it's about uh, 6.30 in the morning. I uh, got about four hours sleep last night, so I don't know how long I'll sculpt this morning. But I figured I'd get started. Got nothing else to do. Um, I'm going to start working on the uh, gentleman's hand right here. And I'm using my, my uh, swing arm mounts for my camera. I put the uh, neck one aside because, quite honestly, you don't get the best. You get a good view, but it, that would be good for something small um, or even, yeah. It, this scenario just does not lend itself to uh, using that uh, particular camera mount. I'm not going to throw it away or anything. It's just, it's a good camera mount. Uh, so today I'm going to work on his hand and uh, the robe uh, that's connected to the hand. All right, I'm going to get started here. Time to play with some clay. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, take a measure of his fingers from the other hand. And uh, you see, I'm going to do the thumb because I, I want to make them the same size as the other hand. If I don't, then it's going to look really weird. Boy, it's nice and cool down here this morning. It's supposed to only get up to 65 today, which is an indication that September is coming. This is a continuation of the robe coming out here. And uh, I've 
got to uh, bring the robe down lower on his hand. That's why it didn't work on the back of his hand. All I'm doing is imagining his movement, imagining the tightness of the robe around him as he was sitting there over the night, and then trying to imagine his movement as he uh, starts to stand up to see a little bit better what's going on off in the distance. and what the robe is doing at that same time. I don't actually have a model here, so I have to sort of imagine what action the robe is taking as uh, he moves. Nothing more beautiful than a, the folds of a material if you figure it out it's starting to look I'm starting to like this design it's not all flat and I didn't want flat I wanted some kind of action and a reflection of that action all right the uh robe is done i still have a little touches up to do like uh, right there but uh basically it's done and it complements the whole piece i mean it really puts the, the final chapter on the uh story i'm trying to tell with it 
I got work to do on the uh, the scabbard and the knife and uh, finish off the base. I'm not going to make it so that you can take the dog off because quite honestly what they'll do is just cut the dog off at the uh, legs and cast this separate anyway. And it'd be a lot easier to... <coughs> <coughs> it'd be a lot easier to uh, make a mold of the base all together so I'm not going to make it so you can take the base off and so I'm going to go ahead and, and sculpt the base to reflect that um, but I need to work on the base to get it ready for the uh, trip to uh, the gallery because once I got it there I gotta have it looking like it will after it's cast so that's it for today and uh, I'll come back uh, either this afternoon and put together a video for tomorrow and combine it with tomorrow's video but uh, it's a good morning to work on this and I'm I'm really liking how the back of that robe looks that looks so much better than when I came down this morning all right everybody have a great day uh, stay safe and uh, I'll see you next time give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time